Hello, my name is Amy. And my name is Mohammed. And in this presentation, we'll be discussing the development of cycling as a competitive and professional sport. We shall start with a brief history of the sport, which would then be followed by a discussion of its commercialization. The governance structure will then be explored and the presentation will close with a brief of issues facing the sport of cycling today. Cycling as a sport has a strong and distinct Western European foundation. The sport saw its first competitive race in the St. Cloud Park of Paris in 1868. North America was soon to follow the trend and in 1878 the first Boston race was organized. However, the major difference between the two races was that the Boston race was organized as, tra as a track event while the Paris race was on the streets. The development of cycling. Cycling was one of the first sports to be included in the inaugural Olympic Games of 1896. This reflects on the status that sport had gained quickly in the minds of sport fans and administrators. In order to regulate the sport, Union Cyclist International, known as UCI, was established in, in the 1900s in Paris. One of the debates that marked the establishment of the organization was that whether cycling should be kept as an amateur sport or it should be allowed to professionalize. It was felt that it is a sport of the people, so it should be kept amateur. The presented slide shows several landmark events in the first half of the 20th century. The Tour de France started in 1903, followed by the first amateur road world championships that was held in 1921. The first professional road world championships started in 1927, followed by the first cyclocross world championship that took place in 1950, following its first edition of the Indoor Cycling World Championship in 1956. However, the debate between the amateur and professional camps of the sports took a decisive turn in 1965, when International Amateur Cycling Federation and the International Professional Cycling Federation were created as two separate bodies, and the UCI was recognized as the coordinating body for the two. This meant that the professional status of the sport was formally recognized at an organizational level. According to commercialization, given the public nature of, of the sport, there is an interesting side to the commercialization cycling. In the beginning, the cycle manufacturers themselves provided sponsorships, whereas the inaugural editions of Tour de France were sponsored by the Lotto sports magazine, which wanted to increase the circulation and popularity of the sport. However, of late corporate and trade sponsorships that dominated the scene after 1993, whereas the Sky Team and Tour de France is sponsored at £10 million per year. Continuing with commercialization, as far as the prize money is concerned, cycling does not carry the same amount of lucrative deals as other sports such as golf and tennis. Tour de France has a total prize money of $2.5 million. On the other hand, World Championship team trial winner gets $40,000. As far as the broadcasting rights are concerned, they are also on the lower side as compared with the sports such as football and golf. A German challenge won the country rights for the Tour de France for less than $5 million, whereas an Australian channel won it for less than $2 million. However, it pales in comparison with the football broadcasting rights, which were sold for $425 million to Fox Sports in the USA, whereas the most recent deal, which was the Premier League broadcasting rights that sold for £5 billion to Sky and BT Sport. The deals for the golf broadcast may run into billions as well, therefore cycling is still a minnow in comparison with other sports. Continuing on, in regards to commercialization, as mentioned previously, cycling is still a minnow in comparison to other sports. The same applies when it comes to endorsements of cyclists. In 2005, it was estimated that Lance Armstrong had endorsement earnings of around $17.5 million. Whereas Mark Cavendish, the British cyclist, has endorsement earnings of around $1 million, showing a big gap difference between the two athletes. These numbers fall down in comparison with endorsement incomes in other sports. For example, in 1995, Nike alone signed a deal with Tiger Woods amounting up to $40 million over a period of four, five years. Focusing on the governance structure, Union Cyclists International is the main organizing body for the international cycling. It was established in the 1900 in Paris. 
However, later the headquarters were transferred to Switzerland. It is the only cycling body which is recognized by the International Olympic Committee. This body makes rules and regulations for the conduct of sport in the world. Let's the issues raised in the sport of cycling today. There are two principal issues, of which first issue will be the issue of doping. The present case of Lance Armstrong has highlighted the issue considerably. However, this is an old issue with the sport. There has been detection of doping cases since the 1960s. However, given the recent strictness and seriousness with which is, this issue is being viewed, it means that cyclists have to take responsibility. Armstrong has been fined $6.5 million relating to the doping scandal. However, the organizers need to step up to the efforts to get rid of this menace. The second main issue is the less money in sport as compared with other professional sports such as golf and tennis. This is one of the reasons that might halt the progress of the sport and might stop many people from adapting to it at a professional level. And finally, the presentation will conclude with a short clip of Armstrong admitting that he may cheat again depending on the circumstances. Therefore, this may raise a doubt in possible cases in the future where cyclists may also relate to doping cases. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed our presentation. When it comes to the doping, would you do it again? You know, if I was racing in 2015, no, I wouldn't do it again. Because I don't think you have to do it again. If you take me back to 1995, when it was completely and totally pervasive, probably do it again. It's, it's an answer that needs some explanation. And, and, and it's, I mean, I look at everything, you know, when I made that decision, when my teammates made that decision, when the whole Peloton made that decision, like let's, we, we get it. It was, it was, an, it was a, a bad decision in an imperfect time.